Hello, student of class 8. Hope you all are fine. It's a long time we have met and your final exam is heading. So I thought I will be coming up with again a revision video. We have already started United Nations revisions after completing the chapter. So today we will be dealing with or discussing with economic and social council. Okay. Now what is economic and social council? From the name only you can have an idea that economic and social council, a council under the United Nations which deals with the international economic, social and environmental issues. How they can develop the ideas, the social standard, the economic growth of the countries, especially the countries who are developing, who are just got the independence maybe or maybe just trying to become self-sufficient, especially to this type of country. Their main aim is to develop in the nations, just I have told. The country who had already developed, like America, Russia, France, they are already developed, they are going for further development, but they are already developed countries. Their education, their economy, their society, all are in a developed manner. But there are, there are hundreds of countries who are in a process of becoming developed. They are called a developing country, for example, India. For example, you can name Sri Lanka. For example, you can name uh, Greece. For example, there are lots of countries, not like that in Asia, only the developing countries are there. All over the world, the developing countries are spread out. So now, we will be discussing about the functions of economic and social council. So again, a quick recap, recap. Economic and social council is a particular council under United Nations organization who deals with the international, economic, social and environmental issues. That is how they can be more developed, more polished, more advanced and their aim is of developing the nations over. Now the first function, promoting economic and social growth. From the of, you know, definitions only we have just discussed, economic and social growth, how a country can economically become more powerful. How a country's social standards, social status, inside this social group means the education is there, sanitization is there, healthcare is there, everything is there. So how the overall development of the society can take place as well as the economically the country can become strong. Next, the initiate the studies and submit reports on the matters related to the education. It is specially towards the education, how the educational standard of a country can be developed by you know by doing some research on that particular country, the economic, uh, the educational growth or the lacks of the education of that, sorry, of that particular country, it submits report to UN and according to that UN prepares the policies and the uh, uh, grants and aids for that particular country who can develop its education more and more. Next is coordinates and supervises the agencies of the United Nations organizations. It not only the General Assembly that organizes and supervises the agencies. Agencies like what? UNESCO, UNICEF, WHO, ILO, IFO, these all. So, Economic and Social Council actually organizes, means coordinate, to link with UNESCO and UNICEF or ILO to WHO, how the labor's healthcare can be taken care of, how the students' education the, you know, from UNESCO to, you know, from UNICEF can be taken care of by UNESCO. This kind of linking work can be supervised or rather are supervised by United Economic and Social Council. Last but not the least is cre creating and 
environment for promoting human and fundamental rights. This is very important, children. A country can only progress when the country's peace is in a stable mode. People are happy with the rights or the demands of the people's rights are being fulfilled or in a process of getting fulfilled. Human rights and fundamental rights is the core of a development of a particular society. If the person cannot move freely, if the person's rights are not preserved properly in a particular country, no matter how rich the country is, cannot do. So that particular thing is minutely being observed by economic and social council. Okay, so a quick recap, again economic and social council is a particular council which deals with the international economic, social and environmental issue and whose aim is of developing the nations. His major functions is promoting economic and social growth. Second point, initiating studies on submitting reports matter related to the education. Third, coordinates and supervises the roles of the, sorry, the supervises the roles of the several agencies of the United Nations, like just I have told you, SO, IFO, WHO, ILO, UNICEF, etc. And creating and maintaining an environment of protecting human and fundamental rights. Every point of time, Economic and Social Council is working extremely hard to protect the human rights and fundamental rights to the particular countries, especially those countries where it has been affected badly, especially in the Middle East countries. Okay. So this is it for tomorrow since the revision is going on. I will not push more. You know, always what I do, generally I tell you just after the class, always wear mask. Converse in English with your peers, with your parents. It will not only help you for your future, but also help you to go, you know, more vocabulary and it will help you in your future to become a successful person. God bless you till then. I will be think and I, I, I think I will be coming up with another video for the rest of the part, maybe one or two, so that it can be revised well. Till then, God bless you.